Hi folks, it's already after work. I turned down my laptop 604. Uh, please, uh, don't try to be in trouble. Anyway, it's done. I'm done with work. Uh, one of the things I really love to do when I'm doing my garden is to sing. So, for those old folks, sorry, oldies, just listen to this, okay? This is Dion Warwick from Singapore. Listen. So, Dion Warwick, you know how the nose, right? Why please, alright, please? <laughs> what do you get when you fall in love? A guy with a pinch of thirst, your love. That's what you get for your trouble. I never fall in love again. Are you going to fix? I never fall in love again. That was so stupid, but yeah, sing, garden is fun. The plants actually love it as well. All right, to answer somebody's question, and in particular, Nick Amoroso from Australia. Um, so he's asked, so what's next when he has kind of uh, used the same rooting method? Thank God it worked. Isn't it wonderful, Nick? So what happens is, uh, well, you actually take them out from the boxes. So we've actually taken most of them out already recently. The minute they kind of uh, leaf out, and if they're really, you know, the, the leaves are really big, all the more you should take it out and space them out. So here you can see that the leaves are growing. So we do need to take them out and space out. I've got to take half of this out actually and place it on another shelf so that it allows them to grow. Um, this is the best time for you to kind of show them a little bit of sun. If you are able to give them the early morning sun, um, alternatively, place them in a nice cool place where indirect sun can hit them so you don't have to go in and out, okay? Morning sun, early morning sun, guys. If it's scorching sun, you're dead. And the fig plants will be dead. So we've got here a couple of uh, fig cuttings that's rooting really very nicely. The um, next thing that you need to note is the watering. So we've kind of watered this after three weeks. Uh, because of the rain, the, the soil didn't, you know, didn't dry up very quickly. So there's still water in it. So we do not over water them. In the event, if you do over water, do you know what's going to happen? Things like this. Then it's root rot. So yes, it's never 100% rooting is possible. But the second phase, you will eventually get a couple of... Um, of them not making it yeah it's just nature it can be due to the cuttings itself blah 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 so things to watch out for the sun give them sun give them enough space to aerate and grow big leaves nice big leaves uh the watering just be very careful so from here onwards only water when the media is almost dry do not wait for it to be totally dry because then the roots will kind of um you know becomes dry and just die off or this still very wet over water and that's so the same thing the same issue is going to happen again so here you go i've got i got some in the boxes still which i need to move up these are a couple of things that you need to kind of take note of we don't usually give them fertilizer at this stage perhaps in the second month uh, or when you kind of change it to a different or a bigger pot one size up so that's all from me for phase two over now from the victory not the unwarwick way <laughs>